Okay, welcome back to section three. In this section, we will change the line to be a wave. So instead of a boring straight line, we will start creating like this cool wave curve. Um, so to begin with, we won't need the line and the block uh, for now. So we can erase that and then we can create a new method called paint wave line. And uh, let's begin by creating a sample uh, of, of what the wave will look like. I will explain this as we go along. So let's create a new path. Uh, path. Um, and define move to, we will say 0. Point, ah, let's start, let's move it to 100 and then size.height, size.height and then path.line to um, 200.0 size dot height oh sorry i'm confused we want this to start at uh, at the left point and then we want to create a line that's 100 pixels wide and at the height point okay and then we want to call this paint wave line save it and we need to draw canvas dot draw path and there we go so what we will be using is um, something called cubic bezier so cubic 2 so if we read this this adds a cubic bezier segment that curves from the current point so the current point being here to um, the given point uh, x3 and uh, y3 so using the control points x1 y1 x2 y2 so as an example um, this would be a cubic bezier. Uh, this would be the start point, this would be the end point, and these two would be the control points. The control, control points can essentially be seen as like defining the, the curve of the bend. As you pull it this side, the curve follows the point. Uh, same with this point uh, over here. I, I believe this would be the second control point and this would be the first control point. So I, I played around with this for a while, trying to find like a smooth bend, uh, because what we want is we want a bend that's going like this up and then down uh, with a smooth connection to the line. The best way I was able to find to do this was by creating two separate uh, cub cubic bezier bends. And this is what we will do. Um, so bear with me. What we will do is we will essentially create a bend that goes like this to the top and then from the top, a second bend that goes down and curves all the way through. Let's see, as an example, let's take this through to the point 200. I'd say 250. And size height, And we want the control point uh, to be 0.0, .0 for the height. 0, 0.0 will be the top of the curve over here where the container is. Um, and for the first control point, we can say 150. 150 and the second control point for the x value you can say 200 so as you can see we get this pretty smooth looking curve um, and this is what i said that we don't want we, we don't want like a, a jagged edge like this we want it to be smooth and round so to do that we will put this point at the top make a smooth bezier curve that goes like this and then a smooth bezier curve that goes down um, and it's it's based on the sensor point or the slider position as you drag the slider so to get started with that it might be a bit convoluted how we get there but yeah bear with me um, i will start by defining a couple of variables the first one we will call uh, bandwidth and we will initialize this to be equal to zero the bandwidth can be seen as starting from where the, the curve starts bending like this this will be the bend width, that initial softening of the bend. And then we can have a double, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the the bezier width, that would actually be that. So the, the bezier width is the one we will use to do the softening and the bend width will essentially be from that point on to bend like this to the top and then bend width down and then the bezier width down. So moving it out to make the final connection to this anchor point. Next, we will want to create a start of bend variable. 
and this will be equal to the slider position. So wherever the slider currently is, minus the bend width divided by two. And we want minus. So this would be if the slider position is here, the, and the, the width is 40 minus 20 pixels, this will be where the start of the bend is. So the start of the bend will go like that. Next, we want to say uh, start of Bezier. And that will be the start of the bend minus the Bezier width. The Bezier width not, is not divided by two because we're gonna have two separate Bezier widths in theory, like if you want to visualize it as this, the Bezier width will be going down like this and the Bezier width will also be going down like that. Uh, for the bend width, it's divided in two because we, we only have one loop over there at, at the top. Um, next, double end of bend. Slider position plus the bend width divided by two and double end of Bezier equals the end of bend plus the Bezier width. Okay, perfect. Next, we would like to define a couple of control points. So these control points, as I said, are the points that control the bend. So if we look at, at this uh, curve over here, or this graph, um, sorry for the noise, um, the, the curve points will, uh, the control points are these points that define how, how the bend looks. Um, and as I mentioned, the bend tries and follows the, the point. Close that. Double left control point one equals the start of the bend and double left equals end of bend. So why do we have four control points. Um, these are just the X coordinates. We have four control points because as I mentioned, we will be using two Bezier curves. So this left side will be seen as the, the bottom over here to the top, and the right side will be the top to the bottom over there. Um, and uh, why is it start of bend, start of bend? It's essentially because we want a smooth line like this. So if you, uh, if you can imagine um, this line over here, just being rotated 45 degrees, this point being there and this point remaining over there, we want the, the curve to essentially um, be a smooth upward directory, uh, take a smooth upwards direction. This will make more sense once we start implementing it. We want to change this path to have the line start at the... Um, start of the Bezier. Okay, and then we want the cubic to go to the left control point. And the size dot height. And the left control point 0, 0.0. .0. Um, we can define a control height over here. Um, double control height equal to 0, 0.0. And we can also define a center point being equal to the slider position. And then we can say control height. Control height, fine, perfect. Um, we want the end position to be the size. Uh, we want it to be the, the center point because this line will go from the bottom to the top with a, with a bend and it will be the control height, if I'm not wrong. Yes, control height. So if we save that, as you can see, we have this bend over there. So the control point will be the first control point starts of bend over there somewhere at the size dot height being the bottom of, of the, the uh, canvas and then um, the top of the canvas 0, 0.0 for the height same uh, same control point 
uh, for the x coordinates left of uh, the start of the bend. So we are using two separate ones, mostly just for continuity and not to get confused. Also, because as we start um, dragging this thing along, um, the, the bend will actually change and the left control point will be slightly different to um, uh, between the, the, the first and the second control point. Um, cool. Next, what we want to do is we want to create the second cubic bezier. This will go down to, let's start at the end. This will go down to the end of the bezier. So this is the start of the bezier. Now it will go down to the end of the bezier. Um, size dot height. This is where it ends, zero. Now it goes down to the size dot height, the height of the canvas. Next up, um, we will say, we don't need, really need to think about this. We know this is right control point one. We know this is right control point two. Again, essentially a straight line that goes down over here. And why we know this will be 0, 0.0, so it's the control height and size.width. Let's save that. Whoops, something went wrong. Size.height. Perfect. And then finally, we want to create a path line to um, size.width. Uh, size dot height and say save and there we go so now we have a draggable a draggable curve uh, as you can see there's no effects obviously we haven't done that yet and also it goes beyond this point we will fix that in the future well, I didn't implement this right left left control point two almost made a future mistake that would have caused some debugging time. 